Uh, Disney Plus is about to drop the most expensive TV series of all time with every MCU show that's coming. Um, budgets are going to be upwards of $25 million a pop for an episode. Which, which is 10 more than um, Game of Thrones. Bro. Which is only Jesus. 10 more. Jeez. Yeah. The way you also, made that. That's on the low end. Yeah. Uh, if, if it's like a six episode, like, it's kind of... Oh mm. my gosh. Well, they've sat there and they've constantly stated these Disney Plus Marvel series are basically going to be mini but longer movies because of the fact that they want to make sure everything is able to withstand within its own continuity. So now you're going to... How jarring would it be if you sat there and you have the movies obviously with their movie budget and looking amazing, and then you have the TV shows on this, like, really, really low right. budget. Right, then you and... have them looking like the Netflix shows, and you're like, there's clearly a disconnect here. And I mean, it's even been said Feige does not want that. He's going to oversee everything and make sure it's the same CG teams and yeah. production. That's why they're shooting these shows yeah. like a year and a half out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't want it to become the next Inhumans. No, no. I mean, to be fair, the whole scheduling thing, like one division shooting earlier because she's obviously in Doctor Strange. Yep. So you kind of got to get that out of the way first because those shows in that movie come out very quick. Exactly. Like, like... Which, again, um, looking at the budget of these shows and the amount of shows they're producing, you start to understand how, like, Disney Plus is positioning this. And then if you yeah, want, like, a proof of quality concept... Go watch The Mandalorian, because that looks on par with every single Star Wars film. Mm -hmm. Dare I say, I think it looks yep. better than some of the more modern Star Wars films. Like, it looks unreal how much... So, it looks like a movie. It does, right. Like, it, like I think people miss the point where TV shows have a TV show-style camera angle. Like, when you yeah, see a TV yeah. show, it looks like a TV show. Mandalorian does not look like a TV show. And there's only a few shows in history you can, that can claim that, like... Game of Thrones, episodes of Breaking Bad, certain ones I can call out that looked like a film, but that's really about it. So the, the fact they're putting that much effort into it, 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 it speaks volumes to how mm. big these productions are going to be. Don't expect the same sets and very like close-up shots. Oh, no. Six hours. You're not going to get that. <laughs> no. So. When, I, I've seen some people be like, wait a second. If you're spending $200 million on eight hours that means you have to just essentially stretch out, stretch out the special effects from like a guardians film throughout eight hours i'm like no because you're focusing on minor characters like like mm. well you say minor we've got you uh, know, we've got yeah. scarlet witch and the vision over here like that's very <laughs> right. cg intensive yeah but well you're right. not gonna sit there and have though every single episode her sitting there and Wandaing and putting out her black That's light true. or her red right. light, true. poof everywhere. I was like, her black light, like, what is she doing with vision? <laughs> <laughs> She's opened up the club. <laughs> She's got <laughs> a hot room. topic in her clean. See, the old question it. was, can robots cry? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, can a robot squirt? Oh, uh, God. You had to take the joke one step further, didn't you? Is uh, this cool? What are you? They'll tie in that banger joke. It'll do. It'll be great. Um. But no, um, I think this this idea of bridging the gap is going to be really huge because, like, you're going to have Disney Plus, right? And you boot up an MCU show by Kevin Feige, you're like, oh, wow, that's that's the Falcon flying around and it looks real. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, what other Marvel show they got? Mm, let's check out this uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Runaways or something. And you click that and you're like, boy, this definitely isn't the same team, is it? Like, because there's... You can tell, right? And uh, that's not an insult to, like, Runaways or Cloak & Dagger. That's two, of, in my opinion, the best shows airing every year. But it's going to be disjointed. Like, there is that. Which brings us to that whole talk, which I guess we could kind of quickly add on here. That everything is moving to Feige. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, everything live action is moving to Feige. Yeah. Oh, well, rest in peace, Hellstrom. Yeah. You're going to add one good season. <laughs> well, see, that's, that's the thing. Is Hellstrom gonna go or is Hellstrom gonna stay? What what is I what I want to know is what is going on with the Hulu shows? Like obviously the animated stuff that's that's staying because the whole rumor is that the Marvel Entertainment or TV is just gonna be the animated side. Right. What is going on with the rest of those? I I'm gonna guess they're on borrow time. Yeah, Sadly. that's kind of what I was thinking. Just well, like, oh, oh. I can sit there and I can see them potentially just 
for giving them a little bit more of a budget for those shows to make them so they are here. They are the grounded teams, but here it's a way for them to kind of look a little bit more like they are part of this universe because it would be really sad to have these amazing other shows that they've got going on with Cloak and Dagger and The Runaways and then just be like, oh, well, since we have Disney Plus and we're fo like focusing on MCU stuff, we're going to just ditch you when those shows have a great following. Yeah. And it would be a very missed opportunity because those two shows are definitely going more towards like the teenage kind of people, which are the people that are going to be growing up watching these shows. And it's also variety. Like, no, no offense to, you know, to Kevin Feige because I love his stuff, but you know a Kevin Feige production when you see it. And like, it's great because it brings us this seal of quality that's like unmatched in Hollywood. But I do like what they did with much of the Netflix stuff, right? Like, Kevin Feige would not have given us Daredevil the way Daredevil came out. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people from... The, like the marvel tv side are working on these disney plus shows that is true yeah that is true as so well. it's kind of like you know it's the same you, like you can look at imdb and like if you find like the same credit you, you're gonna have like dead w Jessica jones falcon mm -hmm. soldier like so i i can see him trying to sit there and be just more this let's make sure everything fits within a continuity but giving the people who are writing those particular shows a little bit more freedom. Because if not, then we're going to be sitting there and basically having the exact same shows on rinse and repeat. Yeah. Which, that's what I loved about like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is every season did not feel like a rinse and repeat. Not even every episode felt like a rinse and repeat. Because they constantly had different people, but they just had like an overarching like story that they wanted to get to and allowed all the other people to direct it and write it in different ways. And that's what I loved about it. And that's what I feel they need to do when it comes to Disney Plus and hopefully still keeping the Hulu shows and the Freeform so, shows this way. Let's say, I mean... I, I desperately want Daredevil back, right? Mm -hmm. Would mm -hmm. that then go under Kevin Feige? Like, if he has to take on the fourth season mantle? Like, that's a uh, weird... I assume so, yeah. That's such a weird scenario to me. It's like... I mean, it, it depends what they do with Daredevil. Like, yeah. if, let's say they can get him back before, like, the end of the year or whatever, you know, hypothetically. You know, do you reboot? No! Does, does Feige look at it and go... Or like, look at all the TV stuff and go... We're gonna start that again. Oh, like, you know, because they are, you know, there's the whole rumors of rebooting the Inhumans in Miss Marvel show. Yep. So, eh, like, but mean, at the same time, does he kind of go? People really like Cox. Yeah. Like, with X, not a CK. So, <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. It's a tricky one. It's. Like, what do you do? I can see them, especially with the fact that they have everything going on with the multiverse. You can bring Cox back, bring elements of how his character was I mean, as Daredevil in the Netflix show, but be like, oh, there's a, maybe, there was another. Maybe you give it to Feige, he calls it Daredevil the Man Without Fear or something, and it's not such a reboot, but it's like a soft reboot. Yeah, we'll acknowledge what happened. It's been, you know, after the blip, eight years have passed daredevil's on its own now maybe you bring back foggy but that's the extent of it and you tie it to the midnight suns and the darker side of the mm. mcu i think that could work but a straight up like reboot if they were to cast someone else i, I will boycott that show that is it's, not it's happening. A it would 100 percent be a mistake yeah, yeah. no that would and I, they're smart enough to sit there and not do it that way they they would probably be at the point of just not even having those characters ever return. No. But they've even stated they want these characters back. Mm. So the way to give the fans what they want to but be able to make it into the correct continuity is give us the same actors, but just do a slight little retelling, just like Armin said. That right. is the best way to have both worlds happy. I, mean, mm. I was going to say, like, you know... Let 
if anything, just get Cox and D'Onofrio back. Exactly. Yep. I, I yep. can handle everything else going, you know, Same. Get, get the bullseye guy back as well because I want to see how that results. Oh, my everything God. Everything else, you know what? I, I can, if I just have to have that, I can live with everything else going. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be sad, avoc- but I'll take it. Hey, you need to have the avocados at law. Yes. yes. Yep. I mean, just name the TV show you that. Could literally introduce, like, bullseye, same actor with a suit, and Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin in another show, them trying to like squeeze their way back into New York now that, you know, everybody's back and trying to run some crime and you could what work if, that What in. if this is the team up movie for Spider Man? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's just dead ever. Uh, can't handle <laughs> too much white punisher. Yeah, I, I can live with Take Punisher. Oh. Uh, his story ended. I'm good with no more Punisher. Yeah. That's coming as a Punisher fanboy. I'm good with where it ended, honestly. Yeah. He's, yeah. So, I mean, we'll come back and we'll talk more about whatever is happening with Disney Plus soon because, well, productions are going to start rather soon.